Hi friends, I am here to give a brief note on a prose work of A.G. Cardinus, a fellow traveller in this video. It was one of his famous work which had published with many other works in the book named Leaves in the Wind. The author A.G. Cardinus published his works by using his pen name Alpha of the Plough. <laughs> Wait a second, can you hear any strange voice? I think someone is hidden and traveling with us in this journey. I will handle that hidden person after my completion of this video. Likewise, A.G. Gardiner also experienced this kind of situation in his work, A Fellow Traveler. We will see about that weird fellow traveler and the experiences of A.G. Gardiner in this video. Now, we will enter into our story. The author A.G. Gardiner started to narrate her story by conveying the message that he didn't know who had entered the carriage first, whether he or his fellow traveller. Actually, he was in a train travelling from London to Midland Town. When the train crossed London city, the passengers were elated. Soon, our author felt that he was alone in that compartment and sensed the air of freedom. If we were alone, we would do anything we like to do. The author had listed out few activities which would be done when a person stayed alone. The first one is we could talk louder as much as we could and no one could hear that. The second one is we could stand upside down and no one would see that. We could even sing a song, dance a step or practice a golf or marbles. We could try any corner seats and could enjoy the full length cushions in that compartment. My dear friends, I like to know your lonely experiences happened in your life. So, tell me that in comment box. Then, select one of these activities which you would like to do when you are alone. Tell me both the things in comment box. Now, we will re-enter into a story. Here. The author didn't do any of these things. He just stood up from her seat when his last fellow passenger had gone out. He saw the dark sky through the window and lit a cigarette. Then he sat down in his seat again and started to read the newspaper. Suddenly, he was shocked to see his fellow traveler who had sat on his nose. Yeah. Really, his fellow traveller sat on his nose. His fellow traveller was none other than an insect and we would all call him as mosquito. I think you all too got stunned by this twist like me. The author had hit his fellow friend and he made a tour around the compartment and again inspected the neck of the author. The author had hit him again and he made another tour around that compartment and returned towards the author and sat on his hand. The author, irritated by the activity of his fellow traveller and warned him that he would die in his hands, he described his fellow traveller was a public nuisance and travelling without a ticket and meat coupon. The author told him that he would demand justice in the court against him and added that he would win in that case too. The author tried to hit him with his right hand but his fellow traveller escaped easily from that attack. He said that his fellow traveller had played with him as a skillful method. A.J. Cardiner was stunned by the personality and intelligence of his fellow traveller. Then, his superiority faded before the personality of Mosquito. He mentioned that magnanimity and mercy were the noblest attributes of man. So, the author had withdrawn his statement of death towards his fellow traveller by which he would recover these high qualities and also his prestige. The author replied his fellow friend and took up his paper to read. The fellow friend delivered himself into the hands of H. Gardiner. So, he told him that he would become a neatly packed sandwich between the articles in that newspaper. He said that 
he did not be able to kill him and wanted to reprieve him he also said that his heart had some affection for his fellow friend the miracle and mystery would happen in everyone's life these two things played a good and majestic role in both the life of arthur and mosquito fortune had made both of them as fellow travelers and the author felt a distant relationship with his fellow friend suddenly ag cardiner heard a voice and that voice gave him the hint of that was his station then he took his hat and stick to move out and close the door still he could see his fellow travelers in that compartment who had been flushing around the light This was the brief story of the prose work Your Fellow Traveller written by A.G. Cardiner. I hope this video will be helpful for learning this story. I liked this journey because we all had became the fellow travellers for few minutes through this video. Now it's time to handle my hidden friend. So I will end my video here. Thanks for watching.